I'll give her the message. Thanks. How can I help you? Uh, it is I, the oh, Spinelli, <laughs> hi! Um, I, I bring sincere apologies and the bright blossoms of summer. Oh, gorgeous. That's a gift to Fair Maximista to absolve the gross misunderstanding of yesterday. The jackal does not consider Maximista a skank. Far from it. I, he admires her greatly and <sighs> desires her in the extreme. Well, thank you. I love flowers. <laughs> um, Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, Kate doesn't allow personal items on the desk. Oh, well, on the table. No. Oh, 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 oh by the door. I really so have pretty. a heart attack. Well, then where? Spinelli can't actually keep the flowers. He would, you know, upset the ambiance. But it's a heartfelt gesture. I'm sorry. A bitter disappointment indeed. But I, I think that it's great that you went through all the trouble to get them for me. And you're the kindest, most nice person that I know. <laughs> and my humble apologies accepted? Of course, Spinelli, I can never stay mad at you. You're my best friend. Hold on. <laughs> Kate Howard's office. I'll let her know. Perhaps Maximista would enjoy the chamber music series in the park this weekend? You know, references to, to Bach and Mozart and even the deeply tormented and politically persecuted Shostakovich could make her appear astute and most that cultured. That sounds really great, Spinelli, but I have to focus. If I don't find those distributor numbers for Kate you know, and Maybe conference. we could follow that up with a candlelight dinner at Casa de Stone Cold? Yeah, I would um, love to stand around and talk to you about uh, chamber music and Shostakovich. Um, yeah, Shostakovich is a deceased 20th century Russian composer. Whatever. I have to prepare for this photo shoot, and then I need to start getting ready for Federico's party. Well, perhaps another time? Yeah, absolutely, but you don't have to cook. We could just do the cultured stuff and then grab something from Kelly's. The Jekyll fears Maximista misinterprets his true intentions. No, I asked you to make me look smart, and you're trying to follow through. I really appreciate it. Uh, Go ahead, answer it. I'm busy anyway. Tis I, the Jackal. Spinelli, it's Dr. Drake. You want to finish that session on how to attract women? Uh, yes, I remain in desperate need of assistance. Great. I'm at Jake's. Um, how might, might I be of service to the charismatic doctor for... Those of us who are slow to grasp the mysteries of the feminine heart must be prepared to earn our way. I'll give you everything you need to know to pick up any woman in this room. Well, come on, give it up, Casanova. First, I need something from you. Try and find something you guys both like, whether it's tennis, baseball, snowboard, it doesn't matter, whatever it is. Pool. Pool's great, but... Be careful about getting too close. Let her win a few, but don't let her win all of them. If she beats you, you know, make sure it matters. Okay, because it does. For example, how many free levels of Alien Space Monster Invasion Deluxe Edition do I give her? I would skip the computer games that can be distracting. Stick to real things in real time. And be prepared to swap a stock car race for an opera. Okay, well, what, what about an opera about a stock car race? If you can find it, yeah, go for it. Um, I don't know, what do you, what do you think about a, uh... Concert or museum. That's perfect. Concert museums are great. Okay, and followed by a candlelit dinner for two. That, as um, advised by a lady of my casual acquaintance. I would skip the candlelight. She's going to think you're serious. Well, what if I do actually dream of the day that the fair lady reciprocates my feelings and returns my affections with tenderness and great abandon? Spinelli, the idea is to be casual, have fun, but make a graceful exit. Nobody was better at that than me. Until I met Robin. Um, in, in any code, the order of commands is crucial. So if I do implement Dr. Drake's advice to attract a fair one, um, but unlike the devoted doctor, I not have the repressed urge to flee, might I then progress to the level of candlelit dinner in an orderly and logical progression? Yeah, I think. These flowers are beautiful. Go for it. Go for it. Courtesan, Lady no, of the Night? No, 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 no. Why are they just sitting there? Um, I, I, I purchased them for a party who is regrettably unable to accept them due to office ambiance, but should you desire them, please, they're yours. I can't take all these flowers. 
Oh, then maybe select the most beautiful few and wear one in your hair, for summer is upon us. <laughs> Do you always hang out in bars being sweet and charming? I would if I could be assured meeting a fair lady as sweet and charming as you. So tell me about yourself. I love how you talk. You know, the jackal would be far more interested in hearing about you, fair one. What's the emergency? And please don't tell me that you're in labor because I'm really busy and Max out of town. He'll freak out if he can't be in the waiting room pacing back and forth, driving everyone nuts. No, the, the baby is fine. I'm pissed. I'm sorry. Lulu took off today and I can't run out of the office every time you and Patrick have yet again another fight. If you get in trouble with Kate, I will talk to Sonny and he will talk her down. This is something that only you can do, okay? So I need you to tell me, who wrote that email? The esteemed, albeit single-minded mother-to-be shows an appalling lack of regard for the faithful father of her much-desired progeny and gives said father no credit for his true and abiding concern for her health and well-being. Nor does the rapidly developing mother make the slightest effort to comprehend the levels of sacrifice a once vibrant and carefree bachelor has made to remain steadfast at her side. Oh, why is Spinelli posting on your blog? That's what I need you to find out.